Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Uh, probably didn't expect to see me tonight, not to mention you're probably not expecting to see me in a video form tonight. No background. I'm just doing this on the, right off the cuff just to get something out there real quick. Um, wanted to talk about a couple things, then we're just going to have a little bit of fun. So first things first, um, we have um, a couple of different things that are going to be coming up. So uh, Today's Wednesday. It is the 26th of July. Uh, we've got a couple different things that are going to be going on in the upcoming days. So expect a stream from me this Saturday. This Saturday. What is that? The 29th, I believe that is. Um, so Saturday night, Eastern Time, about 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to have a little bit of a stream at that point. I haven't decided. It might be 4 p.m. It might be 5. I haven't decided what time I'm going to start. So I'll have an announcement put out earlier in the day so that you all can watch that stream. We're going to do a... Um, I was going to make it a viewer choice type stream, but I think what we're going to do is the Fugitive Challenge. We'll go ahead and get started on that. The one that Bum does. We'll have uh, the description in the... Uh, for, as far as the rules are concerned, will be in the description of the video. So we'll be able to get that done this coming Saturday. Um, I will have a video coming out, uh, a couple videos coming out probably Friday night and Saturday. Uh, Friday night, mostly Minecraft videos and things like that for the family. Um, and Saturday, we will probably have another video. The Anomaly video will come out Friday night as usual. Next week, we have a special presentation. Now, I'm still waiting for an invite on this, but it's a game that I can't talk about, of course. We've already said that. But if things go as they have been going, I should get an invite to play on the closed beta um, coming up on Wednesday. That is August 2nd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So I am going to be streaming live. Uh, if they allow me to play it, I'm going to stream it live, and you're all going to see a first look at the game I've been helping out in the uh, alpha and beta test. So I'm looking forward to showcasing that for you, and we'll have some things set up. Um, I'm hopefully going to have super chats and uh, those kind of things set up before we get there. Really hoping I can get that going. If not, it is what it is. We'll, we'll go ahead and do the broadcast anyway. So I'm looking forward to that. Watch me Wednesday the 2nd. Special presentation that day. So I want to at least get this out there. If you're not interested in seeing anything more tonight, no problem. Thank you for joining us. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get things going tonight. I'm just going to do, as you can see, I've got No Man's Sky open right now, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, uh, get our game going here, if I can get my cursor to show back up. Um, and we're just going to play on my regular session here. I am at this regular outpost, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going. You're probably wondering why you're not hearing a whole lot of audio in the background there for the game. I have went ahead and turned off the uh, gaming audio itself as far as the music is concerned. So you're just going to hear that, just some special effects and, you know, the weapons and things like that. So in order to entertain us a little bit, we are going to go ahead and activate a little bit of a background music tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a random portal generation here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up an address as a random portal generator. Let that go ahead and spin. We're going to go to the Euclid Galaxy. I'm going to go to a portal in the Euclid Galaxy, and we're going to go ahead and get that going. So there'll be some noises in the background. Unfortunately, uh, I still have some, uh, some minions rolling around the house and stuff like that, so hopefully they won't be popping into the video. I've kind of yelled at them, made sure that they knew they would stay out of it. So... It is what it is. So here we are. We're at our main base here. I'm going to go ahead and portal over to something in the Euclid Galaxy. This is going to be my new look for now. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, I'm kind of liking it. You know, half me mechanical and half not. Sort of going the way of Polo. I don't know how you want to describe that, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going here. And out to the Euclid Galaxy. Uh, let's see, I think it's my alpha base that has a, my very first base when I was making the save and it has a portal pretty close by, but I'll keep my, like I said, I'm going to keep my video on for the whole thing. And this video will probably only be about an hour long or so, so we're going to do a random portal from the Euclid Galaxy. We're going to just go wherever we end up and check out some of the planets that are there, do a little research and check things out, make this kind of chill. Hopefully you all enjoy it. 
Um, yeah, looking forward to the uh, to anything that's coming up with No Man's Sky. They've got a lot of speculation and a lot of things that people are uh, been talking about. Uh, things that they like to see in the game. But you know what? I am so satisfied by this game. It is such a wonderful game to play. Oh, yep, this is the uh, this is the base, all right. We're in the right place. As I always start out with every base, I always make sure I start near a minor settlement, so. But anyway, let's go ahead and cruise over here. And I try to do it on a paradise planet as well, so that we don't have to worry about terrible storms and things like that. So. And the funny thing is, is when I made this base, I had no idea I had a portal literally one minute away by regular travel. I don't even have to uh, pulse drive to it. I just go up here in space real quick and I just take it the long way. So it is what it is. All the portals seem to be remaining open. Once you crack them open and put in all the uh, materials needed to open up all the 12 positions for the glyphs, it remains open now. So that's a good thing. I think they switched that. I had to reopen mine about a half a dozen times or a dozen times. I lost track, actually, how many times I've had to open it. And here we go. I should probably just set up a base here. It might be easier, but meh. I don't like to mar the landscape around a portal. All right, let's see what we got. Now, hopefully this is still open. It is. Excellent. That was inbound. Yeah, I'm hoping that they show up because uh, that's one of the things I want to do here. So here's the address I came up with. It is that. It's the base. It's a bird. We've got what we call the, I call it a black hole. Uh, let's see, bird again. Uh, trivial pursuit. And you can see why I call it that. Um, okay, sunrise. Uh, rocket ship or spaceship, as the case may be. Another spaceship in the hot air balloon. And a whale. There it is. And finally, ATP. Now, if it's not an actual address of a system, it's going to cut close to it, and usually within an announcement number. But there is no message appearing that says that this is not an actual system, so that's good. Thing. So I have no idea where we ended up. Let's go through and find out. All right. So, again, any comments or questions you have, feel free. We are going to do, one of these days, we'll do a... Um, live stream where it'll just be viewer's choice you know hey what do you guys want to see do you want to see this game that game the other game uh we'll do that whatever game you want what do you want to do you want it to be a little permadeath run you want to do this we'll talk we'll talk and here we are oh what a fascinating place no that's at first contact so no one's ever been here before all right let's take a look around all right interesting Wow, what a, what a sight. Look at that. Is that incredible or what? Got a nice mountain here, more planets and moons in the distance. Darkness over that way, that's crazy. I wonder what's over there. That's crazy. Let's uh, turn it around real quick. And how about we get a nice picture of that right there. Just do a little pull back. I think actually that's pretty good just the way it was. All right. So that's where we are. This is obviously a hot planet. It says it's 55.4 Celsius. Now that may make a lot of sense to you. Unfortunately, I am in the United States. And sadly, we don't use Celsius readings. I don't know why it switched over, but it did. So to me, 132 degrees Fahrenheit. Now well, that's like Death Valley out west in the U.S. Uh, at least that's what temperatures they've been hitting lately. Yay, global warming. So, let's take a look around this planet real quick and just see what we got. Wow, it's kind of nasty, actually. You know what I'd like to do? I think we're going to go ahead and leave this planet real quick. Let's take a look at all the other planets out there. I'm going to go to first-person view real quick. Get out a little ways away from the planet, and that way we can take a look at all the places around here. All right, so we've got, what have we got here? Planet of Light. Might be interesting to check out. We'll take a look at that and see what that's all about. Doesn't look like there's any Sentinels there. We've got the planet we just came from, of course. Uh, looks like they have a space station here. Oh, what do we got here? Unknown planet. 
contoured planet, also not very lifelike. What about the moon? An acidic moon. Emerald, emerald system. So this is a green system. That's interesting. Okay, good. So here's the planet we were just at. Let's go down here and check this one out. Maybe we'll find a decent planet in amongst all these. Forsaken planet. Well, that's two. Three. Three planets that were not very good. we got another one over here. Pretty popular system here, then. Anything? Miasmic planet again. Fungal mold yet again. I see some ships flying in the distance. And I think this is the planet I've already seen. So I do want to see what the planet of light is all about. That looks pretty cool. We'll go ahead and check that out first. And let's see what we come up with. Nice ringed world. It ought to be kind of cool looking on the surface. A little mountainous too, it looks like. They got some pretty tall mountains here. And Ah, okay, one of these planets. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So as you look at all these pillars of light, look for ones that are sort of yellow looking, like that one down there on the right. Those can be collected, and you add them to your... Uh, oh, they got the nice ball animals here. The anom anomalous animals. Any of those yellow ones that you see there, you can collect those and add them to your um, decorations. So that can come in handy. I don't have a lot of them, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a few while I'm here. Go prime. Interesting. So see, let's go ahead and do that. And you now have it in your inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the other two over here. Three, actually. There's three of them. We'll go ahead and scan this. Got 100,000 for that. The other one. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. There it is. It's over there. And over there. Okay. So we'll grab this one. Light fishers. Yes. Yeah, that was good. Graceful. Alright, got four of them. Looks like there was one over there too. I'll go ahead and grab it. There's one of those oddball planets, but you basically if you collect them all, you can collect all the glitches. These are glitches, like a glitch world, if you will. And it's nice to be able to get these for decorative purposes. You know, like I can't, I don't think I can drop them right now. Yeah, I can. I can drop them right now. I can put them anywhere I want. But see, if you look at the top of the screen, you can also change their color. So you can change the color to anything you want. I can make it yellow. I can make it a blue light. Pretty cool, huh? Not bad. Not bad. I'm not going to drop one down here, of course. You can also change the scale. So R and F on my keyboard. Up oh, tells me I can't resize it, but there are sometimes ways around that. So, very, very cool. So, I'm not going to build anything, of course, right now. All right, let's head back to our ship. I think I got enough. And there's a few more floating around, but I'm not really interested in it. Very nice. All right, back to our ship. Nope, oh, yeah, gotta, gotta get into the ship. There we go. All right. It's a very interesting planet. Rocky, you know, not too hospitable. We don't really have a lot of, you know, pleasant worlds around this one. So let's see what we can find and see if we can find a halfway decent planet to land on. Let's see what that one is. Should show up in a second. Miasmic one. High sentinel activity. So I yeah, got a little bit of an itch tonight. I feel like I want to fight some sentinels. So let's go ahead and fight a couple sentinels off. We'll see if we can't uh, cancel cancel some out. I mean, my title is Hunter Killer. So, killing hunters. So that's what we're going to do here. Of course, I just realized my exosuit is full of garbage right now. So let me just go ahead and get rid of this stuff real fast. See, these are the things you got to deal with. Weren't paying attention. This is what you got to do. There, over there, over there. I don't think I need that. Uh, go ahead and just put it in there. All right. And insertion we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and fight off a couple sentinels on this planet. Let me do a quick scan, see if there's anything floating around that we can land at. Because we do have a star, uh, what do you call it, a space station here. 
Hmm. There is a place I can land. Alright, I'll take it. Alright. Let's see what we got around here. Uh, what's temperature? Yep, I know. It's called slow -o, huh? slow -o. slow -o. Alright, so we got some flying creatures on this planet. And how many creatures do we have all total? Seven of them. Okay. Yep, we got one of those guys. Yep, I remember those. We'll go ahead and scan him too. We'll go ahead and scan that. That's three. Crazy week over here. How about you guys? There is literally something under the ground here. And that is a good thing. I apologize. I should have said that at the first. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're having a great week and a great time in whatever you're all doing. Hope your day is going well. And again, the week, you know. Some of us are working. For those who didn't know, I am a tech support supervisor and have been in tech support for about 30 years, so it tends to get very interesting with people lately. There we go, we found them. That's four. So I don't know if there's any more creatures on the planet, but that I can scan easily. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a... It's supposed to be high sentinel activity, and I have yet to see one sentinel. We should see, like, a little, you know, red icon of some sort indicating that there's a sentinel floating around. But I haven't seen any. Hmm. That looks like the creatures that were burrowing, burrowing down very low into the ground. Did that rhyme a little bit? Anybody want a peanut? Okay, great. Alright, so we have an interesting little planet here. For some reason, I can't get a sentinel show up. I figured with high sentinel activity, we'd have something, but... Nobody want to show up. Hey, we... And you, little guy? No, we have not. So that's six. Let's take a look and see what the last creature is. Ground. So it's not even underground, it's a ground creature. So I just gotta look for a red dot floating around someplace around here and we're all done. But in the meantime, we still aren't seeing anything. Hmm. Really don't see anything just yet. Alright. This turned out to be a little more boring than I thought this planet would be. Here I was hoping to find something, but... Nothing shown. Oh, wait, wait. There you are. Hi there. I'd like to upset you real quick, if you don't mind. Stay put. I just want to make sure there's no animals around I haven't seen. I was hoping to find that seventh elusive animal, but he ain't showing up. So... Let's uh, annoy a sentinel, shall we? Let's see, what, what do we want to use today? Let's take a look at my multi-tool and see what we got in here. It looks like we got our bolt caster in here. We got, a, we got some serious damage going on. It's not going to be a whole heck of a lot, because I think it's picking up the 58,000 from the neutron cannon. So I think that's what we want to use here. I mean, I got a little bit of the pulse spitter I can go ahead and install too, but uh, that bolt caster is always a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and switch over. Uh, let's see, drain, okay, bolt caster, all right. Got about 10,000 rounds. All right. Where are you, buddy? Did you really go that far? Yeah, you did. Um, what sentinel? I mean, he was there a moment ago. Anyone seen him? Guys, have you seen that sentinel anywhere? I'm just curious. Yeah, you. Uh, no, well, how about you? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. I think I've upset somebody. We'll go and pick up the supplies. Why not? Uh, let's see, how about over here? They're going to be arriving right in front of me anyway. See? Awesome. 
nothing for you to repair, my friend. Oh, you're just annoying me. Oh. Boy, it's just, it's almost too easy to beat these guys lately. I don't even have to try now. All right. Not bad, not bad. You get used to doing the live streams and you forget that you have to keep talking when you're doing a regular video. I'm over here. Hello. Over here. Hi, guys. Over here. Hi. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, you're gone. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, nice. You raced. How about you? I'll race you too while we're at it. What do we got up there? He's gone. Okay. See, we only got one of these guys, so I don't know if I really want to just have one hanging around. He's gone. Let's get some more. All right, now the storm is going to do some radio, uh, what do you call it, toxic damage to me here. So I'm going to go ahead and recharge that. Ah, much better. Oh, where are they? Oh, there you guys are. Yeah, he disappeared behind a hill. Gone. 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 Who's next? You? Oh, electrical disturbance. This ought to get interesting now. See the little red spot on the ground? You want to stay away from those. See? Oh, good grief. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Isn't this fun? buddy. Let's see, do we have... The electrical disturbances are over, or... Yeah, you're annoying me. Let's get another one going. Now, I guess the electrical disturbances are done. What in the world? Oh, that is just awesome. You can gather up storm crystals and things like this. Hi, guys. How you doing? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have some fun here. What was that? Good aim, my friend. Yeah, let's just delay you for a second. There we go. We'll go ahead and take him out. All right, anybody else around? Not you, you're gone. so easy to take out these days. Alright, I'm going to do this the hard way.
All right. And that's the way to do it. I think I took out the uh, walker brain, too, by accident. I didn't intend to do that, but hey, you know, it's all over. Okay. And the sentinel nest is revealed. And that's how it's done. That was fun. Eh, maybe I'll collect some of these supplies while I'm here. I, I'm trying to figure out the noise. I think it's still trying to get the walker to walk around. That is hilarious. Alright, well, that's okay. We're going to head over to our ship. We'll check out the Sentinel Nest, see what kind of uh, weapon they got over there. I hope you like the tunes. I do. Kind of makes it a little more interesting. You almost wish that the game had this kind of music. In it. All right, so toxic planet, nice electrical storm. That was fun. And let's see what we got here. All right, good deal. Comments, questions, you know where to leave them. I will answer all those comments as I can. I do find that YouTube does not always let me know when I've received a comment, so I try to jump into some of these videos I put out and check out the comment section to see if I missed something. It tracks them at least, so I know that, hey, someone did leave a comment, I need to check that out. But it may not always send me a message to say, hey, you've received X amount of comments, this person left a comment, this person left a comment, etc., etc. Good deal. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Alright, so we don't have to shut down the Sentinels. Uh, let's look at the weapon, see what they got here. Uh, yeah, have a decent B-class weapon. Got a mining beam upgrade to it. Nothing special. I'm not interested at all. So I'm going to leave it be. So there we go. Um, right, yeah. I've got to get through the whole rest of the menu. So we will log off. Excellent. And done. All right. So we're done here. Except we have still yet to find that one elusive animal. Oh, there he is. Or she. It. They. Them. Thusly. Therefore. And there it is. It's a jumping mushroom of some sort. Excellent. So we got them all. Shall we? 1,750 nanite bonus. Now remember, we also had the other planet too, which was arched. Oh, that's it. It was this one. That gives us 250. There we go. What other planets do we have? So we got these three over here, which is a moon and two more planets. Let's go ahead and check them out. Back to the ship. There we go. All right. And off we go. Get a little away from this planet. Let's go ahead and find the other ones. Uh, that one looks awful cold, though. It's forsaken. Eh, we'll take a peek. Uh, but before we go there, is there one closer? It's a portal. That's the planet we came from. There's a contoured planet beyond it. Let's go ahead and head there. Well, it's going to take us to the space station, but we'll go past it. And check out that planet first. And then we'll come around and catch the uh, bluish colored planet over there. And take a look at that. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited for next week. I'm looking forward to this. And I'm looking forward to the weekend, too. I'm looking forward to uh, doing another live stream on the weekend. That'll be a lot of fun. Hope you all can join us. Um... Again, nothing special with this video, like I said in the title, it's in the description to the title, it's just, you know, wanted to get on and just do a quick video for everybody, you know, we've already been at it for about a half hour here, I'll go another half hour and we'll call it, just something to have a little fun to listen to a little background music and uh, that kind of thing, 
though. That's where we came from. Here's the space station. Then we've been to that planet over there, right? Okay, so we're heading to that planet. So let's hit the planet first. We'll hit the moon afterwards. And we'll head back to that bluish colored planet. We'll get them all taken care of. And we will have explored the entire system. We'll call it a day. So. starts to populate in. We'll take a peek. Ah, okay. Yeah, these planets. This does the same thing, so we're going to have some glitches on this planet as well. Those glitches, I can't remember exactly what they look like. I mean, they look like these. Don't get me wrong, but I remember that when you look at them, they look slightly different. I just don't remember how. We'll gather a few of them, too. Well, here, and I'll show you. Glitch hunting is always fun, so popping into a new system you haven't been to before and looking for glitches is pretty cool. And sometimes you can find some anomalous animals that are pretty neat too. So let's just land here. We're not going to find any landing pads. You always look for the question mark. Uh, say in 13. Hmm, so that's the animals here, huh? Fascinating. All right, get up on a hill a little bit here, get away from the ship for just a touch. All right, there we go. So you'll find food here, you'll find that one anomalous animal, and what you're looking for is anything that shows a question mark, like any of these guys. It says it's a plant, but it's not really a plant. So let's go just a quick search around the countryside. Looks like regular, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That's the animal. That's fascinating. It looks like regular gravity here, so we don't have. We're not contending with anything in regards to that. It's a big plant. We'll just pull our ship in if we have to in order to bring it in and get rid of it, to uh, get it off this planet later. Hmm. I know there's glitches on this planet, I just for some reason can't see any. Huh, very interesting. The funny thing is those, the ball creatures, if you can acquire one as a pet, you can still ride those creatures, believe it or not. At least the last chance I remember. You know what? I think I've got one. Hold on. Let's see. Yep, I do. Nope. Incompatible size. I can't. Okay. So, yeah, I can't uh, ride those creatures, that creature, yet. We're going to dismiss him. Let me see what other creatures do I have here. Yeah, that's a creepy creature to ride. Ah, yes, one of my mechanical creatures. They're always cool. I got a butterfly. And I've got this dude. Sama Sama. He's big. He's a big, big creature. So. And of course, everybody knows Tropy Tropy, which I like to fly around. But I'm going to hold off on any plant, any of my animals right now. Because I'm looking for glitches, and I'm not finding any. Maybe this planet doesn't have any. It's just anomalous, but I find that very odd. I could have swore this planet had glitches on it. Let's take another peek. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. You know what those remind me of? If you ever seen War, uh, War of the Worlds um, with Tom Cruise, uh, the remake that they did, that looks like one of those creatures in War of the Worlds that were striding across the landscape. That's pretty cool. I am seeing no glitches, so maybe this planet is glitch 
glitchless. I wonder if I can go all the way up. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Down we go. It's okay, it's okay. Twisted an ankle, I'm alright. Let me get a reboost, because I don't think I was fully boosted, so I'm gonna try to go up. Is there any blue fl flowers anywhere? That'll be a good thing. Lots of H's. But no little blue plant flower type things. Yep. Okay. Let's see, because I'd love to get on top of one of these. Let's see what we can do. Nope, I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to be twisting my ankle again, aren't I? Ah, almost had it. Alright. Might be off to find another one, like one of those over there. Because I know I can do it. Now I've got a mission. Take a look, just in case I'm in Glitchville. Doesn't look like it. I mean, we can if we can get one of those little blue guys, little blue flower type things. I don't think we can find it, because I don't think, well, they got oxygen plants and sodium. No reason why they wouldn't. Uh, that one looks lower. Yeah, it does look lower. Okay. Quick glitch check. No, nothing. Okay. Not lower. It is literally still as high as the other one. So they're all about the same height. So getting to the top of these is going to be something. Unless there was some kind of a uh, storm or something. Or again, I can find a blue flower plant thing that boosts your jetpack. I am getting up there. At least I don't think I am. I'm gonna make it. It recognizes a perch. That's good. Fully charged. We're going up. Get to the top of this thing. And we're to the top. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know what I mean? There's neat things you can do with this game. I can't pull up my ship. I'm too high up. <laughs> okay. So, this is a good place to take a picture, right? I do a lot of that. I do a lot of picture taking. Take a picture of neat places I can get to. I wonder if I can get the whole thing in here. Nope. I don't think I can. Let's see. Let's go over here and we'll pull up. No, can't quite get the picture in. We'll go ahead and take it from here. This looks pretty good. I like it. I'll take. I'll stick with that. All right. Now let's get down off of this thing and pull in our ship because we're not finding the glitches we thought we would find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more check. Glitchless. We are glitchless. Okay. Let's go over to that moon. Check it out. Is that the moon? That's the Forsaken Planet. We got a moon nearby here. Let's take a quick peek around. Should be... that right there? No, it can't be it. Yep, nope, that's it. Unmapped. Nold! Really? Not named for a moon in the system. even have a landing place or a place to land landing place, place to land, something like that yeah I'll go ahead and take it huh not too shabby nice blue sky to this place 
I, you know, not, not terrible. Not ter- Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, uh, we're talking some good pictures here, my friends. I think a nice pose near the ship. Let's go ahead and turn this around. Put that planet in the background. Let's get down a little bit lower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You gotta love that. That's just, that's just bad. I like that a lot. That's, that's No Man's Sky in a nutshell right there, man. I love it. I love it. All right, we got some animals. How many we got on this planet? Seven here. Okay. See how many we can get. Okay, three. Interesting. He had an itch. Go figure. That's four. Pull back. I know there's going to be some flying creatures around here, too. Let me stop moving for a second and just look around. Oh, we have sentinels around here? Alright, that might be a lockdown facility. Those are not birds. They are trying to act like them, but they're not. Anyway. Okay, what other creatures we got? We've got flying and two underground. Yeah, the underground ones are always going to be a pain in the neck to find. So, yeah. Okay, not too concerned. Let's see what this is about. Because we've already fought off the creatures in the one place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're stuck in a hole or something, my friend. Let's switch up a little bit. Go to the multi-tool. Um, what do you think? Pulse spitter. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind the scatter blaster, but the pulse spitter could be a lot of fun. Let's move you guys over. I'm going to just... You know what? I'm just going to move it like this. Really? butt kick now because of this jerk. Yeah, oh wait, what are you doing? You don't move. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we gotta take him out first. down. Who's next? Uh, yeah. I hate flying like this. There we go. He's gone. Let's erase this one. Gone. And that's all of them. In case you're wondering what weapon that was, that is an Infernipe Accelerator, currently doing a peak damage of about 87,000. I actually literally can get more damage of my Neutron Cannon on my monthly tool go figure. But anyway, you can see how fast these, these uh, weapons fire. They're incredibly destructive. And they don't get any weaker over distance, so. Alright, let's, uh, let's take this guy out. There we go. Done. Who's next? There he is. Done. Not quite as powerful as the 
bolt caster or his fast reload time. But pretty good. Who's shooting me? Up, I'm in a hole. Oh, you're just annoying me. Goodbye. Ow. Right in my face, eh? Done. Alright, I think we, it's time to do erasers. You know, let's get into this facility. Yeah, we got some time. Uh, why am I in my, my starship? I don't want to be in the starship. I need to be in the multi-tool. There we go. And if we have to start over again because this is taking too long, we will start over again because this is obviously taking too long. Look at that damage output. Look at that damage output, Al. Hi. One more. There we go. Raced. Whoops. Raced. Whoops, missed. Oh boy, come on, hold still. Gone. Who's next? You're gone. One, two, three, four, and whoop, missed. Five. Thank you for that. Gone, gone, and gone. Okay, who's next? Anybody? Really? We're already up to that level already? He literally... I thought he was going to jump right on top of me, I swear. Took him out in four shots. Alright, buddy. Me and you. One leg. Two legs. Right in the face, my friend. And he's gone. And there you have it. Okay. Well, that erased him. Sentinel Nest revealed. That's very nice. So look at the damage output on this. 165,000. I don't even think I had this in the right place either. Yeah, it didn't make a difference. 164 over there. Hundred sixty-five thousand. Good. I don't even have the longest, the biggest upgrades on it. Moving on. Helps to have the right button pushed down. No creatures. What's it look like at night here? That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I kind of like it. I like having these planets in the background. They look really, really neat. All right. So. We're not going to discover all the animals on this planet. I think we're pretty much done here. We've done the damage we can. Let's check out the sentinel nest here. I think, is that it over there? Yes, it is. And because it's a moon, we ought to get there a little quicker. You notice how moon tight things on the planet, like the buildings and stuff, are tighter together. That's why, you know, having a base on a moon or something like that and wanting to do, like, say, exosuit upgrades, a lot easier on a moon. So much easier. 
All right, we only got one more system to uh, one more planet to check in the system here. So as soon as we're done with this one, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with that last planet. Whoop, 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 whoop. A little too far. Here, it's just uh... okay. Out. Um, that was weird. I hate when it does that. It changes direction at the last second. Yeah, we'll get the other one. Let's see what kind of weapon we got in here. Sometimes these nodes have pretty decent weapons. In them. So, weapons technology, same one. But it's got an, oh, at least it's got one of the uh, super boosted slots on here. But it looks like we just got a bolt caster and a mining beam, and that's pretty much it. So, it is what it is. All right, I think we're done with this one. Oh, right. Got to exit. There we go. I forgot. I'm trying to figure out what in the world did I do wrong? Nothing. Just a little more nanites and pugnium. That's all I'm getting there. All right, we got one more planet to check out. Let's get moving. And we'll head out of here. So I hope this wasn't too distracting having an actual face on the screen. All right. Where you be? Blue. There it is. That's the one that we're heading towards. All right. So here we go, last planet in the system. It is a forsaken planet. Um, it says unmapped, so we definitely have not been here. Akla 8. Ancient bones. See, now this is pretty good, and the emerald is actually very handy. Uh, how's my emerald doing? Just realized I don't know how much I've got. Uh, looks like we're doing okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I always like to keep my, uh, you know, whatever stashes I have of the minerals and stuff like that up to snuff. I do need an activated cadmium one of these days, so we'll figure that out at another time. All right. In we go. The last one. Oh, old planet, too, at the same time. Interesting. All right, I think stop shaking in just a second. We'll smooth out. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't expect to find anything on this planet. If it's forsaken, it usually means no sentinel activity at all. And I don't see any plants either. So, all of it is rock. It's a frozen, cold wasteland. Go ahead and land and take a look around. Oh, I see Whispering Egg. Yep, whispering eggs on this planet. That is as forsaken as you're going to get. Okay, good deal. And I don't think we're going to find any anomalous animals here, because again... Oh, yeah, light gravity here too, on top of it all. See? Light gravity. So yeah, we can go up pretty high uh, in the air. That's the reason probably why there's floating rocks. So, there is that. All right, and we do have natural burial sites. I don't know what the natural burial sites will do if we try to exhume the bones. I don't think they'll do anything, actually. Let's see how much of a boost we can get getting over there. Yeah, it's one of those planets. Kind of like what we were doing during the expedition on one of those planets that had the... Uh, Storms that were occurring, the gravity storms. Yes, that was it. And we could keep boosting forever and stay in the air the whole time while we fought sentinels and stuff like that. That's a lot more fun doing it that way. I almost wish there were sentinels at this site. All right, we'll see what kind of bones they got. Nothing special. Uh, looks like we got two in this location. Let's clear it out and take a look. Uh, let's see, that looks like a regular bone, maybe? Yep. Yeah, that looks also like a regular one. Nothing special there. Alright. Oh, wait, there is one more. 
Oh, so regular bow. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And you don't get much for those. You get a couple hundred thousand. Maybe. Tops. Usually less than a hundred. Yeah, ninety, hundred five, and ninety six. So you don't get much for those. Is what it is. Alright, so we have found a Forsaken planet. And that's pretty much all she wrote for this one. Not much to see in the sky. You got a trinary system, it looks like, with three wonderful uh, different colored stars in the system. So that's really nice. I love the lens flares, too. I really like that a lot. So let's go ahead and head back to the ship. Actually, let's call the ship in, shall we? And that is pretty much it. So that's it for news. That's it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. I know this wasn't much of an episode. It's not like it's a permadeath run or something like that. But it's just a regular ordinary run to get things going, give you guys a little news as to what's going on in the future on this channel. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll get a lot, uh, a lot of people viewing, I hope, next Wednesday. I really hope I get invited to it. I've been invited to nearly every alpha and beta test so far on this game. So I'm hoping that they go ahead and drop the final and they say hey yeah we'd like you to go ahead and do that so hoping for that we'll see how that goes uh so again thank you for watching please hit the like button if you could it really does help and hit that subscribe button and uh look forward to seeing you guys in the uh upcoming live streams and other videos i'll be doing uh and pay attention to next wednesday's uh video that i have coming out on the normal playthrough i have a special setup on that one it's not as long a video because i want everybody to um give me a comment on that video to determine what I need to do at the end and I'm not going to give you out any more information on it for those of you who don't know the storyline so I want to know what you think I should do two choices that I have to make either way is up to you you tell me all right folks take care we'll see you again in the next episode or the next video bye bye